Hey guys, Mesa here. So today we're going to talk about the roads of Avalon, uh, more commonly known as the Ava roads. Um, so in this video, we're going to cover, you know, what are Ava roads, the basics, you know, how, how to navigate them, um, also the content type in them, um, what kind of PVE, PVP content you can expect, and also, you know, a bunch of tips and tricks on how to really survive and navigate Ava roads. And most importantly, you know, how to make the most money and to get the most out of Ava roads. So without further ado, let's get into it. What are Ava roads? They are uh, a set of maps um, that are linked together by randomly spawning portals. Um, they are a black zone uh, type of map, so it's full loot PvP in all Ava roads, no matter where you enter from. Um, these randomly spawning portals, um, they have three kinds. One is green one, a blue one, and a yellow one. So the green one has two charges, the blue has seven, and the yellow one has 20. What this corresponds to is that um, whenever a person enters a portal, it uses up a charge. So um, if you're entering through a green portal, the, at the same time, you can only allow two people to go through the same portal, a green portal. Um, next to the portal charge, as you can see um, when you hover your mouse over the portal, um, you can see that there's a timer. The timer refers to the next uh, charge recharge. Um, so if uh, a char charges are used up in a portal, then maybe after one minute or two minutes, then uh, another charge will be refilled, and so that you can use the char use the portal again. One thing that a lot of people don't know about these portals is that each time you go through the portal, you'll actually have a 10 minute free charge to use um, to go back through the same portal without using up a charge. So um, when you go through a uh, uh, Avalon Road, um, when you see a golden circle outside the fringe of that portal, it means that you've came through that portal before and you have a free charge available. So there are a lot of content type within the Ava roads. Um, in general, you have three types. So um, PVE, open world chess content. You have green chess, blue chess, and yellow chest. You have resource nodes um, for mining, for gathering, for whichever type of gathering that you are after. And also static dungeons, um, green and you know blue, and also gold Ava uh, static dungeons. Um, these are the major type of content you can find within the Ava roads. The different colors um, basically just refer to um, what kind of party size it's uh, intended for. Uh, for example, for green chess, um, the fact that it's a green chess on the map doesn't mean that all the chess are green in rarity. It's just that it's fit for maybe solo or duo uh, type of content. For blue chess, it's mainly for three or more people. For gold chess uh, or gold static dungeons, it's basically for five plus party size to really tackle and do safely. Um, of course, you can do maybe some content um, with undersized party, but it really depends on the gear score and the skills and the composition of your party. A lot of people go into the Ava roads for gathering uh, just because the resources are so concentrated and there are also kinds of resource mobs that you can kill. Uh, I think that this uh, YouTube video from Lu Peck uh, explains the perks of gathering in Ava road the best. So I'm just gonna show you that a clip from his video and uh, let him explain. And this wasn't any normal zone. This was not only a deep road of Avalon, which is a tile which is higher value than a normal road of Avalon. It will usually have better stuff, higher value, more veterans, more everything. It's just a better zone overall. Now the thing that defines a deep road of Avalon is it has no connection to the main world of Albion. There will never be an exit into the main world. It will always be within the road. This was the absolute jackpot and the title that probably brought you into this video suggests that in 90 minutes in this zone, I made more than a month of premium. I actually made around 10.1 million, all things considered, plus about a couple of million from the zone before. The haul in this zone was absolutely phenomenal. 
As soon as it opened up, we called some more guys in because we didn't know how long it would be private for. We didn't know if anyone else was going to find it behind us and call for backup. So we brought a bunch of guys in to start clearing everything. We also then found an aspect in this zone as well, which is, you know, is a huge chunk of resources. And we had to do multiple transport runs. We were getting so much out of this one place by killing elites and veterans and just we were harvesting everything. I found a 5-2 veteran uh, tiger with like 250 5-2 ticks in it. Like I found a bunch of 7-1, 8-1. It was just... It was just an absolute payday. We couldn't carry what we had on boars. We had to call mammoths in to ship the resources out. And this was the absolute payday. And this is why you guys should be out there exploring the roads. So back to me, Mesa. Um, you heard about the terms end of the roads. Um, there's actually a way to identify uh, what, what kind of zone, uh, the tier, um, and also the uh, kind of roads that you're heading into when you're in the Ava roads. So this is a uh, Avalonian Codex. So whenever uh, you see a portal uh, within the Ava roads on the grounds, uh, there are some glyphs um, that you can see, and actually they are icons that tell you about the kind of uh, tier, uh, the zones, uh, you know what kind of map it is. Um, so you actually have more info than you think and um, by looking at these especially looking at the tiers um, you can consider whether to go into the zone or to find another exit so finally about you know some tips and tricks on how to survive in Ava roads there are a couple of things um, the first one is to look at the charges of the portals so um, you can see you know how many people have entered uh, a portal so you can kind of estimate how many people are in that map and after you've entered the map you can also see the charges on exits so if you've for example if you've seen you know three charges being used uh, in the entrance and that, and you follow also into the same map um, but you see that all the charges on the exits are intact then there's a large probability that either the group in front of you are doing the content um, you know gathering or, or doing the green or blue chess or even ganking in that map so you have to be careful um, of course if you're a ganker yourself then you can look for them uh, at the you know resource nodes or, or the PVE content another thing is that um, who, you know everyone who has been to the black zone knows that you have to keep your mount very nearby so you can remount quickly when you see someone this is especially true in Ava roads because no matter what type of content you're doing um, the chess in the open world resource gathering there's always always a chance that you're getting ganked so um, even if you're doing the creeps at the green chess um, for each mob uh, my suggestions would be you mount and dismount near the mob so like any black zone um, there will be guilds that you know come into Ava Roads to do the static dungeon content or you know try to have their hideouts in the Ava Roads you can build uh, hideouts in the Ava Roads and you We'll also see in some maps there will be a lot of hideouts from different guilds and alliances. Um, but don't worry, um, the big alliances or guilds don't actually have control over the Ava Roads um, just because of the random nature of the portals in Ava Roads. Um, it's, it's very hard for alliance, alliances to or guilds to uh, mobilize a lot of people. Um, through the Ava roads and to consistently you know patrol or, or or be in a certain map for a long time so um, in the Ava roads it's a lot of small scale PvP unless there are big groups that do static gold dungeons Ava dungeons or they are doing you know traveling through 
um, for you know other content. Um, so the the effect of alliances or guilds is not that apparent in Ava Roads. So as a summary, I think you should go into the Ava Roads expecting both small scale PvP and also gathering. So if you're a gatherer yourself, I think Ava Roads is definitely a great content to basically do every day. Um, but also you have to also enjoy small scale PvP to really get most out of it. Um, a lot of times I, I say, you know, out of 10 trips to the Ava Roads, I'd probably make my bank um, half by gathering, half by ganking people in the Ava Roads. Um, so uh, both type of content are really possible. Um, and also if you go in with the preparation of both gathering and small scale PvP, um, every map should be quite suitable for you. Um, uh, you know, in contrast to if you just go in for ganking, then you might run around for like an hour without running into a single person. Um, if you're just going for gathering, you probably run into a lot of PvP situations and you know can't get out. So it's it's really important to have maybe two kinds of gear available or at least some part of your gear is gathering gear or you bring a second set um, so that when there are really nice resource nodes you can change into your gathering gear and start gathering so thanks again for uh, watching this video uh, comment like and share subscribe if you want more Albion content thank you